On this video, I will show you how to use revolution slider in our theme. So, let's go to the theme demo first. This is the dummy content. If I choose revolution slider demo, and then you will see this short code. Yeah, this is the short code for revolution slider. It only show the short code because revolution slider plugin is not active. So let's go to the dashboard and then go to the plugins, add new to install revolution slider plugin. Okay, I will click upload. Okay. This is in the files that you download from Temforest. You can see this folder, recommended plugins, and you will see Revolution Slider. And this is the files. You can drag it here, and then we will install this plugin. Okay, let's click activate. And now you will see revolution slider menu here. You can click this menu. Okay, no slider found. So let's create our new slider. Okay, now for the slider title, it's up to you. For example, I choose this title. And for the alias, I will use this one and then I will use auto responsive for example okay but now let's create slider okay so basically we provide the dummy slider here if you want to use this one to speed up your process I will click edit slider again scroll down and you can see import export menu here and then you can import the slider here so for example this is the dummy slider txt okay I will click import slider Okay, now it's already import our slider. So let's go to this page because the shortcode is same. I will simply refresh this page. Okay. You can see that it is only display image 1, image 2, and this is the font is too small. So let's go to the next step. So let's edit slides. I will click this one to edit the slide. Okay, scroll down, and you can see this one image 2, awesome feature, and this text so okay i will click edit css file and this is my i all we already provide you with our styling so i will select this tag and then i will pass the text here I will click update. Okay, now you can see it is better. Okay, then for the image, I will click this one, and then you can change image source. For example, okay, I will use this one. for an example okay. 
you can arrange this one but I will not do it so for now I will click update slide okay now let's go to the next slide now I will do the same thing I will change the image okay for example update slide again now let's see the result so basically when you go to the revolution slider page you can see this sort code so when you create a page okay let's try to edit this page I will scroll down and now you will see that I use custom slider and I put the revolution slider short code here okay one more when you click the global setting of the revolution slider you can see that revolution slider library will be included globally on if you only want the revolution slider library included on this page only then you can click off and then you need to include the pages for example for this page you can find the page id on this one this is the page id so i simply put this one on this so the revolution slider library the javascript and the style sheet will only include it on this page i will click update 